Welcome to Uncle Jimmy's Pool Room Live at the Cubby House Dutch. We're back, episode six. I'm so excited. I can't believe we haven't been next yet. This is magnificent. <laughs> Massive show today. We're joined on the couch here in the pool room by one of the biggest superstars out of the Western Bulldogs. And Brody, you and I hit the streets to ask a very important question. We did. And I caught up with one of the biggest superstars in the game right now. And he's one of my friends too, Robbo. You've got a friend? I don't remember that. <laughs> yes, Scott Pendlebury, his name is. Here it is. Here with the great man Scott Pendlebury. Thanks, Thanks. for joining us, Scotty. Thanks, Dutchie. What a game on the weekend, mate. Talk us through that. Yeah, it was. It was a, uh, it was a crack of a game and probably the most exciting game that I've played in all year. Um, you know, the bombers are up and about, and mm. it's a good challenge for us, and I uh, thought we responded pretty well, mate. Right up, climbing high on Ray Chamberlain's low bounce. Pendlebury, non preferred, gets skillfully onto the left and kicks a wonderful, wonderful goal. Now, I snuck into the locker room when Scotty was doing weights, and I found this. Oh. Hope you don't mind. I don't know if you knew it was missing, but uh, as you can see here, here's the Anzac Day medal from the weekend. He's won two of these, unbelievable. Um, I didn't win one medal my whole career, and this bloke's got plenty already. And he's got a Norm Smith, Norm Smith medal here as well, as you can see. So, talk us through grand final day. Yeah, it was, uh, uh, when the sign went, it was a lot of relief, um, as funny as it sounds. Um, you know, everyone was buggered from the game. We, used everything we had and um, a lot of relief that you know it actually can happen, all the hard work pays off and um, yeah that, the night was a, uh, a good night and the next few nights were, were even better mate. Uh, moving off footy just for a second, how is the missus going? I know Alex is doing a bit of modelling there with Chadwick's, is there any big gigs coming up or anything like that? Um, yeah she's doing a bit of modelling mate and she's, uh, she's working really hard and hopefully you know, a big campaign comes her well very, yeah. very soon. Yeah. yeah for sure mate, that, that sounds good and uh, We've got a couple of the boys. Hey, Swanee! You'll be on What's going on? We got Ted. We should do Tattoo Inc. while we're here. The big fella. What's going on? How are you, mate? Look, looking well. Just, just act natural, mate. You're only on camera. All right, all right. Yeah. You're allowed to swear. You're allowed to swear. Uncle Jimmy's pool room. You can do whatever you like. All right. You can do whatever you like. Right. You can get new. Yeah, yeah. We've done that before. We've done that before. Tattoos are looking good too, by the way. Yeah, best mates, best mates. We're like that. We're like that. Um, see you, Swanee. Yeah, see ya, mate. Yeah, take it easy. Yeah. Oh, quick, quick, get that. Quick. <laughs> oh, what a classic. Robbo said I can't leave here today without asking about the hairdo. Now, what's going on with the hairdo? Um, yeah, a lot of people have been asking me, and uh, yeah, I was originally going to chop it off before the season started, and um, you know, it didn't, didn't annoy me as much as I thought in games. And so yeah, it's, uh, it's going to stay, mate. Have a look at the hair. What a, there, what a specimen he is, and what a player he is, and what a bloke he is. Thanks for joining us, Scotty Penelbury. I appreciate it, and uh, hopefully we, uh, we'll see you win another Premiership this year. Yeah, thanks, mate. Well, I'll see you at the launch at the Cubby House uh, Friday week, mate. Yes, we will. The launch of the Cubby House uh, Friday week, 6th of May. It's going to be massive. Get down there at 9 o'clock for the big party. Welcome back live to the Cubby House, Scott Penderbury. Thank you very much for that. And uh, Dane Swan, Brody, uh, pretty arsy footballer. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's no bum, that guy. <laughs> nice. Well, joining us live here right now, we're very, very lucky to have a real footballer. This guy can kick. Lindsay Gilby from the Western Bulldogs. How are you, mate? G'day, lads. Thanks for having me. Now, mate, you know we don't have just any old bum in the pool room. Uh, you are pretty privileged to be here. How do you feel? Um, amongst two greats of the uh, yeah. game, former players. Um, had one sit on my head and probably won't whack me in the time, but... Um, <laughs> whack him in the head. Uh, no, it was... Uh, it's good to have me, guys. <laughs> it's good to have me. Now, Lindsay, uh, I mean, you, you, you're 30 this July. Uh, not yet, though. Not, not yet. Uh, I mean, there's not too many champions that have made it through to 30 years of age. I mean, I didn't make it through to 30, so you're doing a great job. Played 190 games. How much longer can you go? 191 games. Get it right, mate. No, well, um, <laughs> I look at the stats I'll only, from last I'll week. only go as far as my contract takes me, and that's, uh, well, I'll be turning 31 next year. Mm. I don't know how I'll go after that, don't I? You've just come back from Perth. Big game over there against the uh, the Dockers. They're up and about, but you came real close. How was the feeling after the game? Um, as you know, playing over there, it's uh, it's pretty much 22 guys onto 40,000 it was. So mm. we're probably unlucky not to get the points in the end. We did nice the game as, as well as we would have liked. But... Uh, no, hopefully that puts us in good stead for Collingwood this week. I think it's going to be a massive game this week, Collingwood v Western Bulldogs. I think they, you must be desperate this week. You've got to get a win. You've got to get on the board again. And 
I just reckon Collingwood could be the launch pad. Uh, I, I believe that, Broads. It's um, they're obviously the benchmark of the comp, and we're looking forward to taking them on and testing yourself against the best. But um, do do beat them, please do, because if you do, this guy has yeah. to get a tattoo of Uncle Jimmy's poor room on his foot. Is that that's, true? That's the bet. It was the, it, the first eleven weeks of the uh, of of the uh, of the season. If if Collingwood had lose that in any of that one of those weeks then i'll have to get the tattoo on the foot so um that's commitment that is commitment and i'm willing to do these things for the show Lindsay. Mm, yeah. okay <laughs> now let's just just let's alter away from afl a little bit let's talk about punting um is it true you you tried out um sav rocker style and uh for the punting or they try to poach you um i actually sent a video across mm, um a okay. few years ago and i got a couple of good responses yep. but um, it's weird because when uh, in the middle of our preseason is the, their training camp, so it's pretty yeah, hard mm, to uh, yeah. sneak a week off and, yeah. and try the trial. They did. They did like the George Clooney hairstyle. Yeah. He's got the silver and uh, <laughs> silver and what? No, it's just no, you're not thinning out. Couple, there's really? a car not thinning out. I'm all right. I mean, he shaves his arms though. <laughs> no, I don't. Yes, he no, does. I don't. He shaves his arms. But you, did you watch the show last week? Did you see Brody running around? Brody running around those tight shorts, kind of. Kind of turned you well, on. <laughs> turned a few of the viewers on, but um, not us, probably not. didn't turn me on. <laughs> what Come was that on, about? Mate. It turned everyone on. Let's be honest. So, you know, I, I suppose yeah, I tried to look like I was playing in the NFL and wear those nice little tights that they wear. Lindsay, thanks for coming down, brother. We really thanks do course, appreciate it. Family. We've got a, we've got a few little prizes here for you, mate. We've got the jumper there from Peter Worth. Look at that. That's brilliant. Have a look at that one. And we've got the man, what a fuss voucher, 120 bucks worth. Get yourself a little facial. Get those guys out. That's the one. And we've got the SAS security voucher. They're $650 worth of fully installed video intercom. Good on you, Lindsay. Still plenty to come on Uncle Jimmy's pool room. We hit the streets to find out who cares about the wedding and who cares about the football. Check this out. Well, as you may or may not be aware, tonight there's going to be a royal wedding. So we thought we'd hit the streets and ask the common folk, football? Oh, Willie! I love Willie! Well, let's just go and find out, shall we? Yeah. Boys, now, are you going to be watching the royal wedding or the AFL? Oh, yeah, sure, I will, yeah, I will, bullshit. You, you, you I'm not interested. You're not no. interested in the royal? No way. Are you going to watch the footy or the royal wedding tonight? Footy. You don't like the footy? Yeah. You, don't, you don't care about the wedding? Nah, footy all the way. Yeah, that's what we want to hear. Are you going to be watching the Royal Wedding tonight or are you going to watch the football? The football. Now, you're a girl, you've got to love the wedding. No, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, is that, no, just to go again, we'll go again. And why not? Because I don't give a shit about it. And what about the football? No, I don't like football, I like soccer and like swimming. Soccer? Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> um, oh, probably the Royal Wedding. And do you think I look a lot like Kate Middleton? You look stunning in your dress. Really Th nice. Thanks, darling. Thanks, darling. Not bad yourself. Thanks. Will you be watching the Royal Wedding? Absolutely. You will be? Yeah, yeah. And not the football? No. Not the football. Sorry, I think I just spat on you there, darling. A Royal Kate Middleton would not spit on Anyone. somebody. That's not a real dog. Yes, it is. You've got to get a corgi. No, no, no. She's beautiful. <laughs> That's a good girl, doesn't he? Your sister's a lot better looking than I. So. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> now, dear, oh dear, are you going to be watching the royal wedding or the football? A royal wedding. The football. The football. The football. Oh, your football. Definitely the football. Okay. Okay. How come Brody's accent went from like a girl's to like South African to <laughs> English? One last question, Miss. Lovely, beautiful dog, but you've got to get yourself a corgi. You like, you like corgis? Oh, no. I like them. No. Oh, see you, darling. Not bad, but you're not a corgi. You already spoke to her, Brody, you bloody pervert. He's married. Well, that's the opinion from the street, Brody. For me, you enjoy wearing a dress just a little too much. I admit it. I love wearing a dress, Robbo. <laughs> well, I'll be watching the football. You'll be watching the wedding. Carlton versus Sydney is a tasty little affair. I'm going to yeah. go for the blue baggers up there. You? Well, I'm going to go for Sydney. I like them at home always. Here's the rest of our tips. Bang. No surprises there. I think Collingwood uh, just rolling on nicely. They are rolling along well, but that's, I'm still going to go for Western Bulldogs. A plus 34 and a half point head start for our sporting bet of the week, Robbo. That gives you $1.91. Remember, there is no better bet than a sporting bet. Thanks very much for a great show. Joining us on the couch, Lindsay Gilby, what a superstar. Scott Pendlebury, mm. Sasser Securities, great threads from Peter Worth. Man, what a fuss. There's just too many to thank. We hopefully, hopefully things keep rolling on nicely, Brody. We'll <laughs> see sure. you next week. See ya.